Hi, I'm Zupercat from Ask Mr. Robot, and today I'm doing a quick overview of the Combat Comparison feature. And I'm going to just jump right in, and then while I go through it, I'm going to highlight some of the little things that make this tool pretty awesome. So first, you're going to want to load the character that you want to compare on the website. And you'll see the list of logs over here on the right, and pick the one that you want to look at. You'll see this screen, and you're going to want to click that green Compare button uh, on the right over here, and let the fun begin! So now we just have to set up a couple of things. Uh, you have to choose a boss, and if there was a kill, that attempt is automatically selected by default, although you can switch between them. And uh, you also have to choose a player, and I'm going to choose yellow 5. Now I'm going to click this big purple button, and once I do that, Mr. Robot will find the best logs to compare yellow 5 to, taking into account his gear, the fight length, set bonuses, trinket quality, legendary progress, and a few other things. Now for example, if uh, yellow 5 has a two-piece set bonus, uh, he will not be compared to somebody with a 4P set bonus. Uh, with one catch, if the pool of relevant people gets too small, which actually can happen at the start of new content, uh, Mr. Robot will loosen the search parameters so that you can actually compare you to somebody. Now, if I want to compare to somebody else in this raid, I can click this tab here. And you can see the relevant players listed, like Fedris. Or, if I already have a log that I know I want to compare to, I can paste it in the URL on this tab. But today, I just want Mr. Robot to find somebody for me, so I'm using this tab and I'm going to choose this player. So you can see the results here laid out side by side and one thing I use all the time is this gear, talent, and glyph comparer over here. Now remember anybody who is using our add-on has their exact gear, talents, and glyphs recorded at the start of every boss poll. And what I'm looking for on this screen are um, different talents or if each player is favoring different stats and then I can use that as an indicator for why one person is doing better than the other in addition to all of the spell rotations. So let's go back to the spell usage comparison. Each spell is lined up, so execute for yellow 5 is on the left, and it's on the right for the person I'm comparing it to. And this orange outline on the right shows where yellow's damage is in comparison to this player. And then one of the nice things we put in here are deltas. Uh, so you see this delta here? That's normalized to the fight length. Uh, so, for example, if a fight is 5% longer, then these deltas take that into account. So, somebody can get more casts off in a longer fight, right? That makes sense. And so this delta actually normalizes it to compare it to this, the length of your fight, which actually makes it a fair comparison. So next, I want to look at the average damage per hit and compare what's going on between those two and why the other player was doing more damage on some of these abilities. Did he get a lucky crit streak? Uh, I can use this drop down menu here and look at the crit percents. Or did he manage his buff uh, procs better? And I can also choose that in this drop down menu here along with a whole lot of other things. Or perhaps he just favors different stats that is doing more damage across the board and I can find that out with this compare uh, gear talents and glyphs button. Now, after I'm done comparing these two, I can click the Find a Fight button and choose other players from this list, and I can also select a different fight and do another comparison. Uh, you can see how incredibly easy and fast this is, and all of these blue and green arrow icons let you quickly select something else from a boss to a phase or as well as another player. And for those of you who want to dig even deeper into the data, just click this Data tab at the top and everything you want is there, including graphs. For example, if I want to dig into his execute damage more, I can do that pretty easily. And I can also see what buffs were active when he was using it. And then I can also click this green graph button at any time, and I can see here that execute's already selected. And I can turn some of the buffs on or off to see how they overlap with his execute usage. And last but not least, I can view the infographic for Yellow 5, which pulls out the most relevant events from the log and gives them to you in an easy-to-digest format. That's it, and have fun in Hellfire Citadel.